<sighs> Everybody knows that if you surf the web long enough, you're gonna see some pretty fucked up shit. Now, this is especially true if you incidentally dwell on the dark underbelly of the internet. I've seen quite a few things I care not to admit to, such as two girls, one cup coming to mind. But one thing I will always remember, and something that's always left its mark in my mind, is a site called normalpornfornormalpeople.com. The first thing that's strange about this site is that I, I didn't actually find it by looking for it. In fact, it was emailed to me by someone who, well, by someone I didn't know. The email goes as follows. Hi there. I found this site. It's very nice. Thought letter U might like normal porn for normal people .com. Pass it on for the good of the mankind. Uh, <laughs> sounds like something cat attack might say, but that being said, a pretty standard issue chain letter. The, although the URL last remarked piqued my curiosity. And well, I was having a very boring day, and when I got this, I made sure I had my antivirus working when I clicked on it. Uh, not the best decision I made. It was a very average and generic looking website. It gave the impression that the creators just barely gave a shit about making it look professional. The author seemed to have a very tenuous grasp on English, and on the page, there was a very long, boring, and incoherent rant that... I don't remember or have saved. I, sorry about that, but this site had some strange tagline, which even today people haven't figured out the meaning of, which was Normal Porn for Normal People, a website dedicated to the eradication of abnormal sexuality. And from the sound of that, I wasn't sure whether I was here to watch porn or if I had stumbled onto some ingenious program, but. I was here now, and I was very curious to what normal porn for normal people well, got the rocks off to. So I scrolled down through the rant and nothing. The page didn't seem to link to anywhere else. And I was about to leave until I noticed that every word in the rant was its own hyperlink. So I clicked on one of them, and it was sent me to a white page of a very long list of links in the form of normalpornfornormalpeople.com slash random letters. So I stopped for a minute, and I asked myself, Do I really want to waste God knows how much time clicking on random ass links that will likely give me a virus and rate to my computer to no end? I figured that i just try maybe... Try for maybe five minutes, just to see if anything came up that was worth making my day a little bit more interesting. I clicked on the links and I was sent to another page. This apparently had a totally different URL from the last one. I was about to say fuck this and <laughs> click on the third link, then a video download came up. It was uh, called peanut.avi. It was a 30 minute video of a man and a woman in a dog what the hell it was well how to explain this a 30 minute video of a man a woman and a dog in a kitchen the woman would make a peanut butter sandwich and the man would sit down and set it down for the dog to eat this was all that happened for 30 minutes it was obvious that the cameraman had to stop filming and wait until the dog was ready to eat again and the dog seemed rather sick and deathly looking by the end of it. And I know what you're thinking, what the hell does this have to do with porn? Blah! Types in the comics! Well, to be honest, I have no clue. I've seen a little over two dozen videos from this site and the majority of it has no sexual activity at all. After watching whatever in the hell peanut.avi was, I went onto a certain image board I frequented to play a little game of show and tell. Like I always do with weird shit like this, but someone had already made a thread about it. The same guy who received the same chain letter I did. The image board thread got lots of people with nothing better to do to dig through the damn site, and that's how I saw some of the other videos on this. Most of, well, 
these two dozen videos were very uneventful and consisted of people talking to the cameraman in, in a room with nothing but a desk and a few chairs in it. I mean, like, literally nothing on the walls or in terms of furniture. The whole room looked very cold and sterile and gave me a very unsettling Silent Hill-esque theme to it. The conversations were just idle banter between about previous jobs or about embarrassing childhood moments. I kept on expecting some kind of discussion about what the f people were filming or what the site was about, but of course nothing ever came to bless my ears. <sighs> you would never know about these videos had anything to do with porn if you saw it out of context, but I will say one thing. The people who appeared in these videos were attractive, to say the least. However, the other videos actually did feature content I was supposed to be, well, supposed to call sexual, and that is where things got weird. I'll give a brief description of some of these videos, of some of the stranger videos. If you've really eaten up with curiosity and try to hunt them down on a turn site, you may be able to find something like lickedclean.avi. Now, let me explain about lickedclean.avi. It's a 10 minute video filmed by a hidden camera in which we see a repairman working on a washing machine for the first two minutes. When it's, well, fixed, the repairman talks to the owner briefly and then leaves. The owner checks to make sure the repairman's gone, and then he begins to lick all over the top of the washing machine. This goes on for a solid seven minutes, filling up the remainder of the video. Now, why don't we move on to Jimbo.avi. This is a five minute video of, well, an obese mind performing his act. It's actually pretty funny, particularly one part where he pretends to pull up a chair and then pretends that it breaks because of its weight. In the last 30 seconds of the video, the camera cuts to a, well, to static, briefly, and then cuts back to the man sobbing quietly, still wearing the mime outfit and makeup. Maybe some kind of obscure fetish? I don't know. Diana.avi is a four minute video in which the cameraman talks to a woman in a different room, the interview room I talked about earlier. This room looks like one you might find in a normal person's house. Exactly where is never really specified, as Diana only talks about her violin play. She obviously plays her violin, but keeps on getting distracted by something. I didn't notice really something until anything really until someone put this image on the image board pointing it out if you look in the mirror in the background you can see a fat man in a chicken mask masturbating jessica.avi here is another four minute cameraman video this time he is outside the house taking talking to another young woman they talk about uh canoe rides, and then the camera zooms out to reveal the city streets behind them occasionally. Now, the strange thing is, no one so far has been able to identify where the street is. Guesses have ranged from everywhere from Europe to Australia to the Philippines. But there is yet to be a match for the street shown in the video. <sighs> Tongueguided.avi Another 10 minute video. The first 5 minutes consists of an elderly woman making out with a mannequin. mannequin. The video cuts out like it did in Jimbo.avi halfway through, and then the scene is now a group of mannequins huddled together in a circle around the camera. The lights are dimmed, and the elderly woman is nowhere to be seen from that point on. There is no sound, and the video simply ends. Stumps.avi a five-minute video where a man with no legs is attempting to break dance on a DDR mat in what looks like to be a, the same kitchen from Peanut.avi, but, but this one's much dirtier. There's a radio playing music unseen in the background, but it stops about at the four-minute mark when the man collapses on the map, mat in exhaustion. He breathes heavily for a few minutes and pleads to someone off-screen to let him rest. The off-screen person becomes terrifyingly enraged and yells at him to keep on dancing. 
which he does. You can hear this off-screen person begin to scream as the video ends abruptly. Privacy.avi The woman from Diana.avi is masturbating on the mattress in the interview room, while the man from Stumps.avi walks around on his hands while wearing some kind of... Galma mask. I know this is really kind of fucked up and weird. The door in the room is always closed in the other videos, but now it's actually opened. In this video, the only light that's in the room is in the room, and the hallway is dark. Near the end of the video, you can see an animal quickly run up the hallway. And then... And finally, why don't I talk about the last video. Useless.avi in this 18 minute video, a blonde woman from the previous interview videos is tied down to a mattress in the interview room. She attempts to scream, but her mouth is taped over. After 7 minutes of this, a man in a black suit and a mask opens the door, but he simply does not enter. He holds the door open for the animal that was running down the hall in the previous video. It's revealed to be an adult chimpanzee with his hair shaved and, and his entire body painted red. It seems to be starved and abused with several wounds along its shoulders and back. When a chimp enters a room, the masked man closes the door behind it. The chimpanzee sniffs the air for a moment. It may have been blind or something. And then notices the woman tied down to the mattress. It goes into a frenzy and begins to maul her. The assault goes on for a grueling seven minutes until the woman finally dies and the chimp eats the flesh from her corpse. For four minutes, and as the video ends, the thread exploded with activity after this video was undiscovered. Well, uncovered. And the people discussed it long into the night. When I came back to the image board the next day, I found a thread had been deleted. I, I tried to start another one, but they banned me. I tried emailing the guy who sent me the chain letter with the site URL and sent him five messages even after that. However, I got no such response. I have tried to discuss this website on various other places, but I've only been banned, quite frequently in fact. The site itself also seems to be deleted three days after useless.avi was well, uncovered. Likely because somebody contacted the authorities about it, which is, to be honest, a major disappointment for me and leaves my story... uncredible. The only proof that normal porn for normal people ever existed is that there's a few screen caps people took from the videos and, well, some people also saved them and uploaded them onto torrents. The most popular of which being useless.avi, which found its way onto several gore sites. However, whenever you upload all, well, upload them, all of the videos from normalpornfornormalpeople.com seems to be deleted after a short while, so if you ever see it pop up, take a chance to view it, and delete your search history. That is, if you're into this sick shit. I probably won't be making any more updates on this. I, uh, TCR out.